Hello, I'm Suzanne Andrade. Um, I am the director of a theatre company called 1927. Uh, I work alongside Paul Barrett, who's an animator, and Esme Appleton, who is a performer and theatre maker. We, uh, 1927, make shows using animation and acting, singing, performance, dancers, circus people. And uh, we made Magic Flute with Barry Kosky here at the Comisha Orpa. And this season we're going to be making Ravel's Les Enfants de la Sortilege and Stravinsky's Petrushka. And they will open here at the Comisha Orpa. Having looked at them both together and listened to them, we've realised our style, our way of working, fits with those bits of music. Um, and also there's so many themes that kind of connect and cross over between the two pieces. On the surface they may appear to be quite different, um, but there's certain themes around being trapped and around freedom and around these two main characters, the little boy in Ravel and Petrushka in Petrushka. There's lots of kind of crossover themes that work really well between the two pieces. Musically, I think it, it's very exciting to hear them both together. Um, and they were written around a similar time, which I think you can hear in the music, as different as they are. Um, and they, they kind of act a bit like, you know, when you have two different types of food that really complement each other, or a certain dessert that just works really well with a certain main course. It feels a bit like that with the Ravel piece and the Stravinsky piece. The vision we have in our mind of Ravel um, is of a kind of children's storybook come to life, but it's not a necessarily a pleasant bedtime story. It's quite frightening as well. Um, there's some terrifying moments and we can see this world where the live uh, and the animated completely cross over and interact. With Stravinsky we're imagining uh, we're using going to use circus performers so it's this amalgamation that I don't really think has been done before with animation and with circus performers. The circus performers are like human cartoons, the things that they can do are, are just spectacular and that merged with animation and the two worlds meeting uh, is what we can see in our minds uh, and I think it's going to be quite exciting.